Hey everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a really super awesome day today so far, and everything is going great. Your day has been good, and if you guys wanna know about the 50 shades of lipstick for fall, it's like, you know, then stick around and let's find out together. So today we are actually going over fall lipstick. So I picked out, actually there's probably more than 50 shades. <laughs> so we're going to see how many we can get through. But um, I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to swatch each one of these lipsticks that I think would be ideal for you for fall. Um, and you can see, kind of play with and see what you think and what you might be, really be into and what you might enjoy. Um, so we are going to go through, I'm going to do um, some swatches the best that I can down my arms as much as I can. So we're going to try. Um, so the first shade on the list is actually, this is Lisa, Lisa Lisa D1, one of her favorite lipsticks, and this is in the L'Oreal shade 910, um, Shining Peach. So we're gonna take it, it's a really beautiful nude pinky color. So if you like a little bit of a pink in the fall, but you like, but you could pair it with a brown liner, it would look really, really pretty. Um, so this is a great shade for any time of year, really. So I mean, but it is a really, really pretty color. Um, and then we have the L'Oreal 760 in Silverstone. I promise you this isn't a L'Oreal represented video, but a lot of the lipsticks I really love are L'Oreal, so I just really enjoy them. But that is Silverstone. Um, and then we have the shade um, 808. It's matte Kadena, and this is a really beautiful nude matte. So if you like a really soft nude matte, and with, paired with a, a brown liner or maybe something a little bit more softer, that would be great. Um, and then we have the shade 920 in Maybelline, and this is Nude Lust, and it is a really beautiful, again, almost kind of a little bit of a mauve undertone lipstick. It's got a little bit of mauve under, bit under the nude, bit of brown with a little mauve to it, and this is on the mauve. It's also by Maybelline as, as well, and this is shade 440, and that is a beautiful, it's a really, really beautiful mauve plummy lipstick. Um, and then we have the shade um, Toasted Almond, and this is in 843, and it is a really beautiful, rich, kind of like that really rich burnt brown color. Um, and then we have the shade um, um, Around the Way Girl. This is by my girlfriend Tori G and her brand Beauty Effects. And isn't that beautiful? It's such a beautiful wine color, and it's like a really beautiful, soft, like matte texture to it. But um, but it's really, really pretty. Um, and then we have the shade um, 184 New Artiste, and this is in L'Oreal, and it is also a really, really beautiful plummy brown color. And then we have 750 and Matte Espresso, which is also a really beautiful matte brown color that would give you that really beautiful punch of brown that you would like. And then we have 810 in the shade Sandstone. It is a little bit more on the lighter side. It is a very neutral shade. So it would be in between these and between these. It would be kind of like in the middle. And um, this is a great shade, by the way. This is a really good shade, actually, for all year round. It's so pretty. Shade Spice, also in L'Oreal. And it is a classic shade in L'Oreal, and it's an 860. Um, and it is really, really beautiful as well. So these are all of your L'Oreal and Maybelline that I have that are really, really pretty. Um, so they give you like a range of different falls. So we have some a little bit more pinkier undertones for those that like a nude or like a little bit more pink in their nude. And then we have some of the more richer undertones in these as well. We're gonna start off with Jaclyn Hill and this is in the shade um, Truth. We're gonna start with hers first. And it is a beautiful matte nude uh, neutral lipstick that you can wear with pretty much anything. It's really, really pretty on. Um, and then we have the um, we have the Maybelline Superstay, and this is in the shade Huntress, and it is a beautiful mauvey gray lipstick. So if you like a really, if you're very trendy, and you like a nice deep gray toned lipstick, this is really beautiful for real and fallible. The shade Deeply Disturbed. <laughs> you gotta love the name of that one. I um, mean, it is a very, really beautiful, deep, rich, 
purple plum color would be beautiful on dark skin tones. Um, and then we also have the L'Oreal in the shade um, Milk and Cookies, which I love. I love the smell of this one. It smells so good. Um, milk and Cookies. And it is kind of like this mauve gray brown. And it's just really, really beautiful. So together we have like a nice array of different fall shades from neutrals, neutral browns, just with the ones with a little pink, ones with more brown, ones that are a little more toasty, and then ones that are more deep and more rich and that have more, a little bit more of an unt to them. So depending on what you're kind of looking for, these are just really, really beautiful drugstore lipsticks to go into a department store slash Sephora slash Ulta, some of those kind of um, lipstick cut that are a little bit more on the pricier side. Um, so we're going to try to start with the nudes and work our way up. I might get a little out of out of um, line with them, but you know, just bear with me because I suck at swatching. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, we're going to start off with Huda a Beauty. We're going to start off with her shade, and this is in the shade Honey Bun. And then I'm going to Ravishing Cosmetics, which is the one that I just did in my previous video, is Belladonna. This is also in Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Hustler. Then we're going into Chanel, and in the uh, this is in the shade 54 Boy. Very light. It's a very beautiful nude color. Um, then we are going into um, Mel Thompson shade in um, Christian Aldette and it's Beauty. Tara in Christian Aldette and Company Card. A really beautiful neutral peach. Have the shade Good also in Christian Aldette as well. I'm gonna put that up at the top there. So pretty that is, it's a really beautiful, it's got a nude, nudey pink undertone to it. It's really pretty. Then we have Charlotte Tilbury in the shade, um, this is shade Catwalking. Then we have the shade um, Mrs. Kisses in Charlotte Tilbury. Then we also have the shade Glowing Gin in Charlotte Tilbury. And um, then the one that I have on today, which is Glam Girl Chelsea's shade Hocus Pocus which I absolutely love. This to me is the equivalent of fall right there. It's just so beautiful. It's fall in a nutshell, all right there. And then we have the Yves Saint Laurent in the shade 216. And it is the darkest one in my lips. Sorry, I know a swatch sucks, but it's that really mauve brown, plum brown color. And then we have the shade in Christian Dior. It's in the, um, it's in their sticks. The Rouge Graphis. And it is, and it's like a plummy, it's like a plummy purple color. And it's in the shade 974. But not least in this bunch, I'm gonna try to see if I can put it in the middle here somewhere. This is, um, this is Victoria Beckham's shade. It's in the shade Sway. So see guys, we have a nice little array of neutrals. There's still like a little pink in some of them. And then some of them have a little bit more of a red or neutral brown undertone to them, depending on how you kind of look at it. But they're all really, really beautiful shades for fall. And then the last one in this bunch is Masquerade and this is Huda Beauty. And this is a beautiful deep color. Isn't that beautiful masquerade? I can't wait to wear that one. That one I'm dying to wear. I can't wait to wear that one. That's so beautiful to me. I just love it. So depending on your taste, it's just like it's a really nice array of different shades of what you're, what you like and what your undertones are. Two that are, or actually three, they're actually liquid lips. So the first one is the Victoria Beckham and this is in the shade, um, just, I think it's just Bitten is the name of it. Bitten Lip Tint. And um, I think it's in Just Bitten, I think the name of it is. But it goes on just like a tint, and then it dries down. Then we have this Charlotte Tilbury in Tripping on Love tinted lip as well. And the lip tint. And then we have the Alexis Fogel in Ravishing Cosmetics. And this is the shade um, Naked, which actually was also in my previous video that we did. 
and these are great like lip if you like more of a liquid type lip or you like something that's just more of a tinted lip so together you've got like re a really nice array of different colors to choose from um we're gonna do pick out some fall lip glosses so i have a few of if you guys prefer lip gloss more than you do lip lip thick or liquid lips i thought i would also give you guys an option as far as lip glosses go so, um, so we're just kind of going to go randomly. So they're just a little bit all over the place, but we're just going to play with them. So the first one is Long Calm Juicy Tube in Hallucination. Long Calm Juicy Tube in Tickle Pink. Caramel Gospel. <laughs> this one's Caramel Gospel. This one's Magic Spell. So this one's Magic Spell. See, they're very, they're very sheer like. They have like a little hint of color to them, but not a lot. Then the Long Calm and Grape Accord and Juicy Tube. And it looks really bold, but it's really not that bold. And then the um, Orange Flashback and the Long Calm Juicy Tube. I'm gonna put it up here at the top. And again, it looks very bold, but it's very clearish. So a lot of these have more of a clearish kind of thing to it, but they're a little bit more of a thicker gloss. So if you like that more thickness, they're really, really nice. So, um, so on this side, we're going to do um, some traditional lip glosses. So this is the Huda Beauty at Lip. This is Huda Beauty um, Lip Strode and Moody. So we're gonna start a little bit more in the darker side. So this is, these have got a little bit more pigment to them. The um, the Scott Barnes in Rude. The Scott Barnes in Love Sick. Charlotte Tilbury in Rosy Glow. The Charlotte Tilbury in Wa uh, Walk of No Shame. The um, Alexis Vogel Ravishing Cosmetics and Bee Stung. Um, from Miami, which is a, um, it's a, a cruelty-free um, company that, a little small company I found in Miami and the name of this is called Key Largo. Love that shade, it's so pretty. I love the way they smell too. And then um, last but not least in this category is the um, Lipophoria Natasha Denona. And this is in the shade Nude. I'm gonna put it right up at the top there, Nude. So, so you got a nice little array of lip glosses. You have some that are, are some that are a little bit more on the sheerer side and thicker side. And you have some that are a little bit more on the thinner side, but you've got like some nice nudes. You have some really nice, plums you have some nice neutral undertones in there there's some really nice really options if you don't really care for like lipstick or liquid lipsticks together. so i picked out i think i've got about 10 here that we're going to go through so starting off with the long calm and bronzel it's a really beautiful soft nude and then we have Lisa Lisa D1 and Christian Audette's collab nude sandals, which is absolutely my favorite lip liner ever. It's just such a great lip liner. Um, nutmeg in NYX in NYX in Nutmeg. Club Hopper. Um, Huda Beauty in Warm Brown. Like a really nice soft nude. Then um, we have Hollywood Honey. Then we have Victoria Beckham in um, 03. This is Smooches and Kristen Audet. And this again was um, a Mel Thompson collab with them as well. So this is one of her lip liners. Um, this is Wood by Kristen Audet. The little bit more of a deeper brown. Then we have ColourPop and BFF3. Then we have another Huda Beauty, and this is Terracotta, which is another one of my favorites. And then we have the Scott Barnes and Naomi. So this gives you guys like a nice array of different fall between nudes and warmer shades. Hey guys, so what did you guys think? Did you guys like that? Did you kind of like the idea that I kind of like went through and showed you guys some like different kind of um, lip looks that you could choose from? Um, Cause we had a quite a bit of lipsticks kind of go through. They were really, really pretty. And let me tell you, the description box is gonna be a pain in the ass for me putting them down in there for you guys. 
I mean, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to put links with them or not. I'm going to try my best. But, I mean, but a majority of the L'Oreal and the Maybelline and those you can definitely get at um, Walmart. Because Walmart carries the best array of Maybelline and L'Oreal lipsticks. And as anybody. I mean, they also carry NYX. So, a lot of them, those I usually get at Walmart, believe it or not. Um, because they just have the better deal. And usually, they're a little bit less expensive at Walmart. Um, um, and then some of the other ones, you know, I would definitely try to leave them all down below. They may not be in order, but they'll be down in there down below um so you guys definitely check those out especially the glosses and everything um because i do have affiliate links so i will put that all down below for you guys so you will have it um so i hope you guys like this video um i was trying to do something a little bit different um i never do the kind of swatch thing because i'm not good at swatching um but i just thought i would try something different i've got another one with eyeshadow palette coming up too so i've got like a whole bunch of different ones for fall that would really go fall into almost christmas um so i mean some different different palette that'll be great for, you know, well, actually, there can, some of them are, like, all year round, but, but they've kind of really fit the bill for fall as well, especially for some of the color stories I was choosing, but, um, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video, you know, um, if you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on it, because I really do appreciate that, that means a lot to me, and, um, you know, just remember, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, and, you know, most of all, love yourself, and don't forget to give somebody a hug today, uh, tell them that you love them, that really means a lot, and also be nice to people. You know, being nice can really, it can mean an awful lot to somebody. Trust me, on a database. Sometimes a little kindness can go an awful long way. So that, just keep that in mind as your day goes on. Or if your day's over, just keep it in mind for the next day. So anyway, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. And you like this video. So anyway, take care. And we will see you with this. And hope you guys have a good rest of your day and we will see again ah, we will see each other again in the next episode bye